There's this app on my phone I've been using called Skate Savant that lets you know where the skate spots in New York City are. When I was looking up spots above Central Park, there was something I noticed that I've never seen before, but it was a hood factor. And they represent how hood the spot is by the amount of guns displayed. <laughs> there he is, another human being out on the session. Hello, young boy. I talked to John Rays about these spots and he said they weren't bad at all. So we're gonna go to three of them that I have in mind today with a hood factor of two. It's pretty much all I could find in Manhattan, but let's check out the hood spots. But obviously we're gonna warm up here first. Unfortunately, I tried to trick for a very long time and now I am, oh, just so sore. The sorest of... Unfortunately, that's how it goes sometimes. You put all your effort into the first skate park and then the rest of the day you're just exhausted. So we'll see how it goes. Incredible spot. I'm still a little sore, but I'm gonna do at least five tricks just because I'm here. You got to, even if you can barely ollie. So when I first got here, ideally I was like, oh, maybe I could skate around that turn everyone skates, but I don't want to hurt anything. I'm still at like 70% in terms of my back pain, but John Ray's, he's going for it. So let's film him. Woo! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Good enough. Spot was amazing. I definitely want to come back when I'm feeling better, but the next spot are these perfect benches that I've seen forever and I've always wanted to skate. So we're going to try it out, see how it is. This is the main part of it I wanted to skate. Those green bleachers, beautiful, amazing. But these tiny fitness tables meant for, I have no idea who. not felt an ounce of danger. I think it's because it's so obvious what we're doing. We're just riding skateboards. People don't usually care. And honestly, when I see older people at parks, I never really get worried because I feel like they've got nothing left to prove. It's usually, I, I sound so old, but usually the only times I get nervous in any situation is when there's kids eyeing up the gear because they're fearless, which is a good thing. But at the same time, I'm like, hey, don't grab my stuff. And then there's like, a, at the, any time I've had things in the past, it's usually just young kids. He's about to take my board. That young, young little kid basically was about to take my board as I was saying that. This last one, we're just gonna take a look at. I'm gonna film what we could skate there, but I just don't have the energy. We're gonna go eat lunch, save it, and then go to the next spot and skate. But I still wanna show it to you guys because it's a future spot. Cool, future reference, perfect spot. And straight up the second we pull it, some kids like touching John's scooter, touching my tripod and stuff like that, which is annoying as hell, but it happens. And those are the times where you're like, well, all right, you don't stick around, you just dip. 
That ledge is what Mark Suchu skates. This is where people skate over this into here. Shane O'Neill did the nollie tray. 30 seconds. You're trying to just scoop your phone. That was sick. They'll scoop the whole video if they scoop your phone. That's what I'm saying. I can't let that happen. That's why I stayed like 30 feet away the whole entire time. Especially because I have this bag full of stuff. It's just so annoying. Not worth it. Right now we're basically heading to the opposite type area. We're going to the Upper East Side, which is like 60 blocks away to get lunch. Oh yeah. It's not possible to get in there though, huh? Look at this. Dude, that's amazing. Who has bigger arms? Uh, you. So you go. If you have Remember. something to Technically, push. if you open it from the inside, you're not breaking entry. Maybe we could use your tripod. What? Right arm is not going through it. Wow. This is the... Dude, no way. That's insane. Well, this is a total fluke, but it worked out. I tried to go in here before and I couldn't figure it out and John did in like five seconds. So, I mean, let's do it. posted up for about four hours doing all the work that I needed to get done today, but I allowed myself to go out and skate as much as possible. So we are hitting one more spot. It's not a hood spot. It's just a regular old fashioned manual pad. I lied. John Ray's went about his own way. Manhattan is too crazy, but I found this on the way home. This is what we're going to skate today. We're very limited on time here. Not sure how I got away with skate in that area, but if you want to join our little community of learning how to skateboard via Patreon, it's linked down below. I do weekly tutorials on how to get better as a skateboarder. I talk about skateboarding in general. It's just like strictly skating stuff, five dollars a month. Check it out, link in description down below. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm back in Brooklyn where I live, but if you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I love how much this channel has been growing, how much people seem to be excited about the content that is coming right now in reality. And I'm trying to talk while I'm not getting hit by a car, but thank you so much. I'll see you next time for another video. I'm uploading every Tuesday and Thursday right now. So stay tuned for all of that, human beings. Hot people galore. I love you so much. Progress daily and keep killing it.